Yeah, yeah. The Corporate Transparency Act. Okay. Avoid penalties of $591 per day for not complying. Okay. This is an emergency meeting for all businesses so you know what to do. Okay. This session is designed to help businesses meet the requirements of the Corporate Transparency Act, better known as CTA, by ensuring their beneficial ownership information, BOI, is filed correctly. This session is free and open to anyone, okay? If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you follow, subscribe, like, put something in the comments, ask questions in the comments, okay? The penalties are huge for not complying with this simple request. And I'm gonna tell you more about it, okay? Let's get going. I got a presentation on my PowerPoint and I'm gonna show you about, all right? Let's get into it. <clears throat> One second. All right, let's, let's do this. Corporate Transparency Act, better known as the CTA. And all businesses need to know about this. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. You should be able to see my presentation right about now. Okay, so let's do this. Like Brutus. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so check it. The Corporate Transparency Act. My name is Noel A. Booker Sr. My website is businesscreditbuilder.us. And what we do at Business Credit Builder is we help businesses build their business credit and access funding. Okay? Please. Get your free guide on how to build business credit by going to businesscreditbuilder.us slash free guide. If you want to talk to us about the products that we provide or anything about business credit, just schedule a free business credit consultation by going to businesscreditbuilder.us slash consult. If you think you need, you qualify for funding now, Go to businesscreditbuilder.us slash get funding. All right, let's get into it. The Corporate Transparency Act, CTA, was passed by the United States Congress to combat money laundering and terrorist financing. The CTA establish a beneficial ownership information reporting requirements for corporations, limited liability companies, and other similar entities created or registered to do business with the United States. The beneficial ownership information reports must be filed with the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. We're going to call them for, the, for this presentation FinCEN, okay? A bureau within the United States Treasury. All right. Reporting companies that were formed or registered prior to January 1st, 2024 must file an initial beneficial ownership information report by January the 1st, 2025. So that's the end of this year and the days are counting down and the penalties are huge. Reporting companies that were formed on or after January 1st, 2024 must file a beneficial ownership information report within 90 calendar days of notice of formation. Reporting companies that were formed on or after January 1st, 2025 must file a, finance, a beneficial ownership information report within 30 calendar days of notice 
of formation. Beneficial ownership information reports are filed at www.finceen.gov slash B-O-I. Okay, let's go over some questions and answers real quick. We're going to get out of here quickly. It's going to be... What's going on with my mic? Oh, shucks. Boy, hold tight. Okay, my mic back on. My camera on. <laughs> Things are going crazy. What's going on here? My camera not on, right? Hold on. Hold on one sec. Let's get this camera right. Okay, we got that on. <laughs> Things are going crazy over here. Okay, so we're back, right? Okay, let's go through these questions real quick. Um, <clears throat> why do companies have to report beneficial ownership information to the U.S. Department of Treasury? Why? This, this has never been done before. In 2021, Congress passed the Corporate Transparency Act on a bipartisan basis. This law creates a new beneficial ownership information reporting requirement as part of the U.S. government's efforts to make it harder for bad actors to hide or benefit from their ill-gotten gains through shell companies or other opaque up ownership structures. This is serious. What companies will be required to report beneficial ownership information to FinCEN? Companies required to report are called reporting companies. There are two types of reporting companies. Domestic reporting companies, right? And they have foreign reporting companies. There are 23 types of entities that are exempt from the reporting requirements. Just go to, to find out more information on all those details. We're going to be going over the basic stuff here today. But to get more details, go to fincen.gov slash BOI. Okay? Um, and check out the Small Business Compliance Guide that has much information on the details. Like I said, we're gonna go over the basic stuff here, right? So check out fincen.gov slash BOI and you can get more information, right? Under the Corporate Transparency Act, who can access beneficial ownership of information? So this information that you send to the Department of Treasury, who can actually take a look at that information? In accordance with the Corporate Transparency Act, FinCEN may permit access to beneficial ownership information to the following. Federal agencies, state, local, and tribal law enforcement agencies with court authorization, officials at the Department of Treasury, Law enforcement agencies, judges, prosecutors, and other authorities that submit a request through a fed U.S. federal agency to obtain beneficial ownership information. Financial institutions, so that's banks and stuff can ask for this information, okay? Federal functional regulators or other appropriate regulatory Agencies that supervise or access financial institutions with access to beneficial ownership information, okay? That's who can see the information that you provide, okay? Should my company report beneficial ownership information now? Okay, FinCEN launched the BOI e-filing website for reporting beneficial ownership information. The direct website is boieefiling.finsen.gov. 
fincin.gov. They, they established that on January 1st, 2024. A reporting company created or registered to do business before January 1st, 2024 will have until January 1st, 2025 to file its initial BOI report. A reporting company created or registered in 2024 will have 90 calendar days to file after receiving actual or public notice that its creation or registration is effective. A reporting company created or registered on or after January 1st, 2025 will have 30 calendar days to file after receiving actual or public notice that its creation or registration is effective. Next question. Is a reporting company required to use an attorney, certified public accountant, enrolled agent, or other service providers to submit Beneficial ownership information to FinCEN. No is the answer to that. FinCEN expects that many, if not most, reporting companies will be able to submit their beneficial ownership information to FinCEN on their own using the guidance of FinCEN ha has issued. Reporting companies that need help meeting their reporting obligations can consult with professional service providers such as lawyers, accountants, or enrolled agents. So it's pretty easy to do this. Anybody could do this, okay? You don't need to hire somebody to do this. It could be done for free, okay? It's free to submit your BOI, Beneficial Ownership Information, okay? Who can file a BOI report? on behalf of a reported company and what information will be collected on filers. Anyone a reporting company authorizes to act on its behalf, such as an employee, owner, a third-party service provider, may file a BOI report on the reporting company's behalf. When submitting the BOI report, individual filers should be prepared to provide basic content information about themselves, including their name and email address. The person filing the BOI report, including a third-party service provider, must certify on behalf of the reporting company that the company is true, correct, and complete. Now, this is serious right here, right? Because basically, any a company can have anybody submit this report, right? So now what it really comes down to is who is going to vouch for the activities of this business? Because they're going to have to put their ID up there, okay? And you know what? You know, I do these free money webinars, right? Free money edition where I talk about how I found out about business credit, right? And the way I found out was with my client who was doing shady stuff. And that's how I found out about business credit, right? But what I don't say in these webinars is that this guy that was my client, when he made these companies to do shady stuff, he made up a fictitious name to put on his secretary of state. Because at this, when you set up a company and you set up your business name, you don't have to provide your ID. So you can put any name. And this guy was communicating with his lenders, right, through this fictitious name. He'd call them and say he's that person. Or he'd email them from, you know, that name at thebusinessname.com, right? So they didn't know who they was talking to. But now you got to put, somebody got a vouch for this company, 
Okay. It could be anybody, but now there's somebody that they're going to have ID on that's going to be responsible for what happens with this company, right? So you see what they're trying to do here, right? They're closing out the, the gaps. If a reporting company created or registered in 2024 or later winds up its affairs, meaning closing, and ceases to exist before its initial BOI report is due to FinCEN, is that company still required to submit that initial report? Yes, is the answer to that. Reporting companies created or registered in 2024, no matter how quickly they cease to exist thereafter, must report their beneficial ownership information to FinCEN within 90 days of receiving actual or public notice of creation of registration. Reporting companies created or registered in 2025 or later, no matter how quickly they cease to exist thereafter, must report their beneficial ownership information to FinCEN within 30 days of receiving actual or public notice of creation or registration. These obligations remain applicable to reporting companies that cease to exist as legal entities, meaning wound up their affairs, they close, ceasing con ceased conducting business or entirely completely completed the process of formally and irrevocably dissolving, okay? Is the sole proprietorship a reporting company? No. Unless a sole proprietorship was created in the United States by filing a document with the Secretary of State or similar office. An entity is a reporting company only if it was created in the United States by filing such a document. Filing a document, filing a document with a government agency to obtain an IRS employee identification, a fictitious business name, or a professional or uh, um, option, occupational license does not create an entity and therefore does not make a sole proprietorship filing such a document a reporting company. Okay? Where can I find the form to report? Access the form by going to FinCEN's BOI e-filing website, which is boieefiling.fincen.gov and select file B-O-I-R. Okay? I hope these questions are good and gives you some information on whether or not you need to file and stuff like that. Okay, now, Here's an update I just got on um, October 11th, okay, which is just a few days ago. On October 11th, FinCEN provides filing relief to victims of Hurricane Milton. Filers have until May 1st, 2025 to file. So y'all can check that out. I'm not going to read this whole thing, but that's just some new updated information that they're helping with the victims of Hurricane Milton. Okay? So check that out. Go to the website. Boom. All right. Before we get out of here, Business Credit Builder. is The website is businesscreditbuilder.us. Make sure you get your free guide. Get your free business credit consultation. Um, check out my upcoming events, more webinars that we're doing on different events different topics about building up your business credit and accessing funding and learn about our new fundability system, go to our website at businesscreditbuilder.us. All right. And thank you, everybody. Make sure you check out my social media platforms. We're on all these social media platforms. We have a podcast on Spotify, which is called Business Credit is Real. And make sure you get your free guide on how to build business credit. 
by going to businesscreditbuilder.us slash free guide. And we out. Yeah, <laughs> we out of here. See ya. <laughs>